I have a new bumper behind me that goes on an F-150 2011 pickup truck. The original one was all bent up, so I went ahead and ordered a new one. And the challenge for me today is to see if I can actually install this bumper. There's a lot of parts that go on to this bumper before I can even get started with it. So oh, hopefully I haven't forgotten where those parts go and hopefully I will be able to install this without help. Follow to the end to see if I'm successful in replacing this bumper on that 2011 F-150. The first thing I have to do is remove uh, these clips off the old bumper and put them on the new bumper. I left them on the old bumper so that I could make sure I got them in the right place. They're different sizes. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. You can see this clip right here. It has to slide off and go on to the other one in the exact same hole. And they're just lined up and down on this bumper. There's quite a few of them. So I'm gonna pull those off and get them on the other bumper. I went ahead and replaced and put all these clips on, like I had mentioned, um, from this bumper over to this new one. And I found everyone, got them on. It was a little bit of a trick, but not bad. So, um, and in the meantime, I went and tried to figure out where different components went, and I was able to figure that out. Uh, and I realized something. Like this part right here was bent. So I straightened it out some to make sure it's gonna fit. But what I'm gonna have to do is get those parts straightened out and make sure that they fit the new bumper. Uh, the new bumper isn't 100% exact and as with this plastic piece over here that I have to put on it. But uh, we'll get it worked out. I think I know what I need to do. And there's one other issue that I want to show you uh, on the truck itself that I'm going to have to address that I wasn't anticipating. It's going to take a little bit of work on my part, but uh, eh, instead of a two-hour job, it's going to end up being a five-hour job. Who knows? But that's okay. This bracket right here and the one on the other side is bent just a little bit so when they hit that fire hydrant with this truck here in the center they hit that fire hydrant and it pushed these in just a little bit so i have to pull these out and the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to take my cutting torch and just heat this up i don't have anything strong enough to grab a hold of that to pull it out without heating it. But if you sight this right here, this, this comes through and then it kicks back and it's that way on the other side too. So the first thing I'm gonna do is heat this up, get this pulled back where it goes. Then we'll go ahead and mount the, uh, the brackets on the back side of this uh, temporarily. And what I, uh, plan to do is fit it to the truck with those two main brackets before I bolt anything onto it. Because if it doesn't fit and align properly at that point, then I'll have to tweak the front a little bit or these brackets, some or the bumper. I don't want to have everything bolted fast and then find that out. So I'm gonna get right to that front. I'm gonna heat it up and do what I just said. And I'll bring you in after I get it straightened up. I went ahead and heated this up right here. And I took a pipe wrench and a pipe after it was heated and I pulled it out and it looks like it's uh, pretty close. Um, we're gonna let that cool now just for a bit. And then we're going to uh, 
see how the bumper fits on there and once we get it dry fitted or just see how it fits I'll turn this camera back on and let you see what we come up with but if I can get these where they need to be I believe that uh, the rest of it will fall into place okay we got the bumper um, temporarily put up there it doesn't look too bad and um, a little higher over there but we got room for adjustment so the next step is to take this back off and then try to bolt all the parts onto it over on my bench and we will talk about that here in a minute but there you have it the bumpers installed and I think it's going to look just fine it's just a little higher here than right here well we got the bottom piece on it fought us the whole way but it didn't turn out too bad there you can see it, it turned out pretty good we had to do some adjusting on the bolt holes and a few things like that but other than that she went right on and it looks good from the front so the next step now is just to put the uh, everything that goes inside here we're here with this bumper again you can see we got all these parts bolted on it was a little bit difficult to get everything to line up but with a little bit of uh, tweaking and improvising we we're able to get things lined up and now we're going to go ahead and bolt this to the front of the truck there's four bolts that hold it on uh, hopefully that's going to bolt right up and we won't have too much trouble but we may it's been a, a lot harder project than what I thought it was going to be but for the most part it's not that bad but it, it took a little bit so let's see if we can't get this on and I'll show you the finished product it was a a challenge but we got the bumper on and I have to say it turned out pretty good look at that it um, a little bit ch more challenging than what I'd have hoped it would be but we got it things that uh, I thought would go easy didn't nothing wanted to line up like I've shared uh, if you see something in my video that I might have done wrong or that you would have done differently please share with me and share with me about the projects that you're doing uh, I'd be interested in hearing about them this bumper turned out really well for the expense I have probably I'm gonna guess eight hours invested in it for 70 year old that's not bad and probably three hundred dollars in the in the bumper in the pieces that I ordered for it it's not bad either so the truck has its new bumper if you like what I bring each week and you don't want to miss anything subscribe to my channel if you want to see the video where I took this bumper off just just watch this video up here it was a real challenge for me to take that bumper off by myself can it be fixed sure it can can you do it the little sweat blood and tears you're darn right you can do it until the next one